Hello and welcome to Whiskey Resource. My name is Mark. This is review number 95 and today I'm going to be doing a review of a sample supplied to me kindly by Alan McLaughlin. Um, I'm going to put Alan's um, social details down in the description so be sure to check Alan out and give him a, a thumbs up for sending out the samples which is really nice of him. So today the sample uh, is the Tamnavolin red wine cask. I've already poured the dram. It's been sitting in my class a little while um, just while I've been doing a little bit of uh, research and tidying up and stuff. So Tamna Bolin, it is a uh, Speyside distillery uh, near Glenlivet. This particular expression, it's bottled at 40% ABV. As far as we can tell, it is chill filtered and it does have colour adjustment. It's been matured in um, American oak before a finishing period in Cabernet Sauvignon. Um, French red wine casks so it gets its red wine cask name from um, as I say a bit of research there it appears that a lot of the online retailers are out of stock of this particular bottle if they ever held it um, it was uh, pretty much um, found around all the major supermarkets if you visit the Tamna Volum website and uh, you click on um, by now it directs you to a page that lists all the different logos for the supermarket so supermarket kind of edition this one uh, retailed for about 32 pounds that's kind of what i found the price to be which for a non-age statement um wine cask finished um whiskey i suppose isn't too bad um tabna the um the kind of the the the, the budget end of their core range you can generally pick it up for about 20 pounds um, invariably it's 30 pounds but discounted at 20 quite often to draw customers in uh, wine cask finish whiskies tend to be um, all the rage at the moment um, I believe um, Jura did a, uh, a red wine finish not so long ago I think it was in a litre bottle as well available from Sainsbury's not tried that one yet be uh, good to get my hands on it at some point so Tamna Volen Red Wine Cask, 40% ABV, retailing at about £32. It'll be interesting to see if you can pick up a bottle of this now. Um, I say a quick, quick search. It's, it's quite hard to come across uh, who has it. Um, I can imagine supermarkets probably still have a kit man on the odd shelf if you're lucky enough to find it. It's the first Tamna Volen, I apologise if I'm saying it wrong, that I've actually tried. So we'll see what's like. This is uh, from Alan. Cheers on the nose. Well, the first thing that strikes me um, when I've been nosing this, how similar the nose is to the famous Grouse um, port finish, which unfortunately I've finished that bottle now, so um, I won't be able to bring a review to you, but this has a very similar nose to that. It's a youthful nose, but it does have a lot of um, red fruit noses coming, nose coming from it. It does say, I'm a red wine. It, it does have that approach but it also has a youthfulness to it this is a single malt it isn't a green whiskey it's quite fragrant quite floral I see I'm getting I'm getting red red fruits maybe maybe a touch of pear could be going on in there as well maybe a bit of spiced pear and maybe just a subtle hint of um ginger on the palate started with an explosion of sweetness that immediately evaporated into a, a dry dry wine and that dry matured into dry bitterness and spice evolved with that ginger and this maltiness so yeah from the nose I'm, I was getting ginger gingerbread maybe is developing 
on that finish towards uh, an oaky ginger cinnamon dry dry finish it's actually tongue drying that finish it is fruity It is fruity. Red wine fruits. So grapes is there. Berries. We're talking about maybe a touch of cranberry. Blackberry maybe. It's not syrupy enough though. It's not oily enough. There are sensations of oil coating but it's quite superficial. It's it, it's overall texture is watery I think maybe there's something else there um, dried prunes maybe mm, yeah probably a dried prune I can imagine let this sit for just a little bit longer and we have had this sit in the glass for 15 minutes before I started to 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 taste it there I want to put one drop in there just to see what that does anything because I think this could probably evolve into into different expressions different layers I'm getting a bit of candied or honeyed you know crust, crystalline um, bits of fruit on there with that ginger so crystalline ginger crystalline fruits it is on the palate very similar to the famous grouse um, poor finish with the exception that it's missing those um, notes of grain that you get on the, um, the famous grouse it's not a bad dram it's quite tasty it's something different i do like me port finished whiskies and this i apologize my laptop fans just kicked in there it's an old laptop and it does make a hell of a racket so i apologize um, i do like me port finished whiskies port matured whiskies sherry whiskies and this kind of hits those markers however it's a little bit watery on the palate do with maybe a couple of percent three percent uh, increase on ABV to just give it a bit more oomph to make it a bit more of a textural feel in the mouth I wouldn't say no if I, if I saw a bottle of that um, if I walked into Sainsbury's asked at the morrow and I saw it on the shelf, shelf at 20 pounds I'd pick up a bottle I'd, I'd like it um, for that I wouldn't pay a 32 pound for it though it's not bad not a bad little drama and I can see why um, Alan uh, bought a bottle because it's you can't really go wrong with wine finished whiskies um, it can certainly improve um, a, a mediocre spirit not saying that this is because I've never had them talent of all them, so I don't know what to expect but it would certainly make me think more towards maybe picking one up the next time I see a, a bottle on a discount in a shop and that's it there it is.